Oh, all right then. I think we're live now, according to this gadget. <laughs> okay, folks, welcome back to Mike's Magic Auto Detailing and Paint Enhancement here in Sharpsburg, Georgia. Oh, there's my girl Angela on there. I do believe. I do believe. That looks like your little bitty picture up in the corner there. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing, huh? <laughs> I thought you would be unavailable at this time of day. But anyway, folks, I wanted to update you guys and gals <laughs> on this project here, this 2013, I believe it is, Beast of a F-150. As some of you may recall, if you were with me on previous videos, we strip washed this thing, we deconned it, we clay barred it, we polished it, we did some spot wet sanding on some of the scratches. Then we did basically a two-step polish. Oh boy. We polished the windows. We polished the metal. <laughs> we polished it even buffed down some of the plastics. We did the wheels. We did the tires. Huh, which are turned out very nicely. Of course, that's brand new powder coating there. But I put some protectant on there. Protection. And we put the high quality optimum tire coating on the tires. I think they look nice. <laughs> After all that, we paint we, I keep saying we, Angela. <laughs> I paint prepped the entire vehicle. Probably had to do it several times. Uh, then spent a lot of the time today putting the ceramic coating on. And I'm telling you what, it turned out nice on this gray paint. Very nice on this gray paint. I love it. I love it. I mean, boy, it just brought back to me that factory out of the showroom dealership shine i even ceramic coated those tow hooks or whatever those things are down there ceramic coated though all that stuff right there all that stuff in there the headlights and tail lights were also ceramic coated i did not ceramic coat the glass because i don't like the way your paint ceramic coating acts on glass it's just very finicky that way so I put a glass sealant on the glass once I finished cleaning it up and polishing it yep all the glass has been polished folks all of it so I just wanted to show you in sunlight while we have some <laughs> oh man I can't this thing is nice 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 <laughs> I am extremely pleased with the way the ceramic coating turned out on this one. All right, Angela, there you go. <laughs> oh, look at my hair, look at my hair <laughs> and my beard. I need to trim both of them. Oh, man. But, you know, it's all turned out very, very nicely. I'm thinking I might put a little bit more tire coating on that tire. For some reason, it didn't turn out as good as the other ones. I don't know why. Sometimes you just don't know. Oh, but it's been a real challenge dodging the weather, basically. Huh. But the outside is essentially done, except I will put a, what they call a top coat on over this ceramic coating, probably first thing in the morning, whenever the... 24 hour cure time is up I got my stopwatch running on my watch so that I'll know <laughs> I saw a smudge where I was doing the roof and I smudged the window that's okay it'll just wipe right off you don't even just a regular old dry microfiber will wipe any smudges that I've put on that glass since I put the sealant on there it'll just wipe right off right off I even ceramic coated polished and ceramic coated these pillar posts We've talked about those before. These are not really a glossy, they're more of a flat black. So the ceramic coating didn't do as much for those as it does this clear coat. But I still think they look many times better than they did. So essentially the outside is completed, folks. <laughs> 
And if you got any questions about, you know, what products I used, some of the procedures, uh, the equipment, that kind of stuff, or you need a tip on doing your own vehicle, uh, you know, just shoot me a PM or put it in the comment section below. I'm always happy to get comments. I love them. You know, it turns very nice. And you know what? I don't know if y'all remember me griping about the roof, but it turned out, uh, I don't know if I can get up here high enough, it turned out much better than I thought that it would. Much, much better. After some due diligence up there, it's a little bit of extra compounding and that sort of thing. Oh, and I was going to mention to you guys, you know, I always do the, you know, there's my business card, <laughs> business card. It's a refrigerator magnet. And I'm always showing you guys how it won't stick to paint. You know, folks, and I know there's a lot of commercials, a lot of marketing people from big companies make a big show of that. They'll put something on there. They'll put a bottle of stuff up there, and it'll slide off. And they'll, oh, that's really slick. You know what, people? Almost anything you do to your paint will have that effect. Almost anything. So don't be impressed by that. It's not really all that impressive. All that means is that they've done something. Oh man, I see a streak right there. Uh-oh, I have to go back here in a little while. We activate that right there and get rid of that streak if it won't just buff right off. See, every time you walk around a big vehicle like this, you always spot something. Uh, that's the only streak I have seen. But you know what? That is relatively easily cured. I don't know if y'all can see that streak right there. I think you can. Can you see that, Angela? There's a little streak in the right there in the ceramic coating. Who knows why? You never know. You never know. Probably because of all this humidity I've had to work in. But I'm starting on the interior now. I've already started that. I got all the um, floor mats out. They're over there, pressure washed them off, degreased them and all that kind of stuff. And I'm getting ready to start vacuuming. I've pulled all the stuff out of there. Yeah, you know, all the personal stuff bagged it up. You know, I bet he had five dollars worth of change in there or maybe more. I don't know how much it was. I didn't count it. Uh but it's time to get started on the interior like I say first thing I do is vacuum you can do whatever you want to first but I suggest you do the vacuuming first I think most people do uh, man those headlights turned out nice with that ceramic coating on them didn't they Ooh, I like that but I appreciate everybody that has watched watching and who keep returning oh, I see Miss Kimberly's on there hey Miss Kimberly hey baby <laughs> <laughs> on my phone, you and Angela are next to each other in your little bitty pictures. Y'all could, like, reach over and shake hands. <laughs> but, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what? Consider hitting that subscribe button for me so that you'll be notified of the remainder of the videos on this project and any other videos on other projects that come along you can check out the older projects i you can see i've got a little bit of work ahead of me on this interior it's not really nasty too much it's just dirty from use you know just regular everyday use there's some kind of hair in here they said that she said they haven't been carried any animals in here i don't know maybe that's people hair i don't know i don't know but yeah it's just dirty. We'll have to probably steam all that out. This is not one of those where you can, oh yeah, you can take the couple things out. That makes that easier. They're easier to clean out of the car. Yeah, there's a little rubbed in grease and grime from body oils probably on here on some of the seats. You know, a lot of dust up here. I mean, look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> That'll just all clean right off. Of course, we'll hit the headliner we'll open that up and clean the inside of the sunroof glass that's glass we'll strip all the interior glass get them nice and clean and spiffy streak free put a sealant an interior glass sealant you have to use a different type on the interior well, i don't guess you have to but they say you're supposed to i don't know but we'll see i can see the back seat that's not terrible it's just 
dirt and stuff from getting in and out and maybe hauling people around maybe grandkids I don't know I don't know but uh, you know so this is all dirty down here but that'll clean up clean up clean up oh man nice truck very nice truck of course I had <laughs> all this this stuff was all up under the seat of course I have to get that out from there and so I can clean up under there I gotta figure out if these seats fold down or not I do not know I do not know and I, you know what I'll clean these door jams yeah they're a little bit dirty got some embedded looks like pollen right there hopefully that'll that should come off relatively easily and I wanted to show you guys I don't know if you can see it this truck customer got a discount on a cause of that window decal right there he's a veteran another reason I went an extra mile on this truck got to take care of our veterans folks we owe them our gratitude my dad was a veteran we owe them our gratitude I don't care what anybody says okay that's all for now huh I was thinking about calling it a day Angela but I hate to waste the sunshine you know what I'm talking about <laughs> Yeah, this ceramic coating is curing quicker in this sunlight now that the humidity has dropped down some. So we'll see, we'll see. I got my dinner going in there, percolating on the stove. Oh, I'm about to starve. I'm almost out of energy. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that flashing light was. Oh, that's a dadgum wasp flew in front of the light bulb. Those wasps, man, I think they love the smell of all this stuff because they come out of everywhere. I don't know why that's flashing like that. Huh. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm going to get off of here and get out of here. Thank y'all very, very, very much. Goodbye now.